like to show you how to uh, change a colour model, uh, put a contour cut line round the image, or in this term it's a vector graphic, and generally prepare it for output to the RIP. Uh, in this case it will go through to a uh, first works. So if I click on it we can see that it's got a red, green and blue colour model. So let's start off by changing this to CMYK could go out as RGB and the RIP would do the conversion. I like to change it really so that I can have be a bit more confident on what colours are going to come from the printer because I can see them more accurately on my screen. So I've got a find and replace docker uh, which has come up here and to access this you would go to edit and you would click on that. Obviously mine is already open and what we're going to do we're going to change the colour model so I'm just going to click on that. It's going to find any colour model which is on my screen and it's going to be replaced with CMYK and if you, uh, you drop down here you can actually change it to any colour model you like. Um, same applies for when it finds as well. So I'm just going to do a replace all. It's going to do it very very quickly. I don't really want to do it again so I'm going to click no and if I click on the green now we can now see that it's uh, sign magenta yellow and black. Now um, also the black is also quite a, a percentages of the of all the colors and ideally we would like this to be just K. So easiest way to do that go back to our docker and this time we're going to be looking at for a specific color so I'm going to click on that and it's going to ask me what color do I want to find. And the easiest way to do this is to click on the uh, eyedropper tool and just sample it left click. Okay we've done that so I can close that down and that black is now going to be that black which we found and we're going to replace it with 100% K. Now you can put in whatever numbers you like because you can also drag it if you want to change it to a different colour altogether or if you want to again you can use the eyedropper tool this is my CMYK palette and I can just sample that, click on that and then again I can just close it, place all, does it very very quickly, don't want it to do it again. And now if I click on that we can see that it's now 100% black. So if I click on that again we can see 100% black. So we're ready to print, now we want to put a contour line around it. Easiest way to do that will be to select it all and then we are going to have a look at our top bar here and we can see the boundary tool. Click on boundary and that has now put a line all the way around it. We can see the nodes there, that's our boundary tool. Now we want to colour it so that it's going to be the correct colour for output. So I'm just going to close that one down now. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to load the Roland palette because that will have our cut contour colour already in it. So I'll go to Windows, Colour Palettes, to Palettes and left click. I'll just drop that down a bit so we can see more. It's under the spot colours and then we'll see the Roland one. And here we can see the Roland Verseworks one. If I click on that, that will now open. If we go to that top one, that's our cut contour. All I have to do now is right click it and that will change that. And if we look down here, we've now got a cut contour. And that is now ready for exporting as PDF or EPS, which is ever your, your preferred mode of exporting. And uh, that we should import straight into VersaWorks uh, where you can process it, do a step and repeat, resize or whatever, and then print and then afterwards that would cut. Okay, thank you for watching.